Let us try to understand the rule of wide ball, as defined in the rule book, issued by Marlebone Cricket Club. The rule reads. If the bowler bowls a ball, not being a no ball, the umpire shall adjudge it a wide if, according to the definition in 22.1.2, the ball passes wide of where the striker is standing and which also would have passed wide of the striker standing in a normal guard position. So, what exactly is a normal guard position? A batsman takes guard, from the umpire, to know where he is standing on the crease, in relation to the stumps. The common guards asked for a leg stump, middle stump and leg and middle. If the batsman moves, either on the leg side or on the off side, of the stumps it is not considered as a normal guard. An umpire also looks at if the ball is within the reach of a batsman or not, in deciding if it is a wide ball. For this, the umpires use the lines as guides in making their decision. A ball should not be considered a wide ball, if the ball is bowled within the wide line. Or, if the ball is even bowled on the wide ball line. Considering that the batsman has maintained the normal guard. Now, let us look at batsman's movement, and how umpires make their judgment. If the batsman is standing down the leg side, nothing changes for umpires in determining the wide ball when they look at the wide line guide. The area of reach increases for the batsman and the bowler can still use the wide line as guide to bowl. When the bowler bowls and the ball stays within or on the wide line guide, it will not be considered as the wide ball. Now let's look at the situation where the batsman moves towards the offside of the stumps. The area of reach will also move towards the right hand side of the batsman. This area of reach will move as much as the batsman has moved as compared to the normal guard. In this situation, the wide line guide will no more serve as guide to determine the wide ball. Now, if the bowler has bowled outside the wide ball guide, but the ball is still within the reach of the batsman, it will not be called a wide ball. Another situation may occur when the batsman attempts a reverse sweep or a switch hit. In this situation, both the offside and the leg side would be considered as offsides. If the ball stays within the reach of the batsman, on either side of the stumps, it should not be called a wide ball. Remember, any ball that stays down the leg side of the batsman must be called a wide ball. Lastly, if the ball has gone past above the head, after bouncing off the pitch, it should be called a wide ball. This will also count as one for the over.